Today, I'm gonna to take this pile of scraps and turn it into an adorable little toddler dress. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. You may have seen some of my other projects where I take a reversible pojagi patchwork seam and I use it to make pieces that are reversible. The seams are finished on both sides. Well, that's what I'm doing today and I'm gonna be making a cute little baby dress. So to start off for this project, first I went to my bags of scraps and I got all these different fabrics in yellow and pink. And so I picked those based on how they were gonna go together. So once I sorted them, I pressed them all, and I'm probably not gonna use everything in my project. This is more fabric than I think I'm gonna need. And so anything that I have pressed here, it's not going back into my bags of scrap. It's gonna be then cut down and put into my bins of pieces that are cut by size. So if you're interested in seeing how I sort my scraps and what I'm talking about, you can check out my other video about sorting fabric scraps, but this is what I did with these. So I just took out a bunch of yellow and pink. And so that's the fabric I'm gonna be using. So let's talk about the pattern. The pattern that I'm gonna be using is a wrap petal dress, and it is from Twig and Tail, which is an indie pattern designer that has adorable kids clothing and some adults clothing. And so I'm gonna put the link below because this pattern is actually a free sample pattern that you can get from them. So um, I'm not gonna be sharing any measurements or anything from the pattern, but you can get the pattern and do this yourself if you want. So I got the pattern and it was a digital pattern. So I had to print it and put it together. And then I traced the pieces. So I'm gonna be working on the back of the dress. And so the, the back piece, it's something that normally you would cut on the fold. But for this situation, I traced it onto tissue paper and I have it whole. Um, and you'll see why in a minute that I want the flat piece. I don't wanna have it on the fold. And so once I have this piece, then I took some scraps and I just started sewing scraps together into um, pairs. So I have a couple pieces. These are all different sizes and different kind of random shapes. And basically this is gonna be like a jigsaw puzzle, but it's a jigsaw puzzle where there's no wrong answers. I'm gonna lay out my pattern on the table and then I'm just gonna start placing these pieces on and then um, filling in with other pieces and then just joining together until I have a piece that is bigger than my pattern piece. So you can watch the process of how I do that.
finished my patchwork piece. The back is ready and I've gone ahead and I've done two other pieces that are going to be the shape I need for the front. So I have these ready. I'm going to cut those out and then I'm just going to assemble the little dress. Now the one way where I am not following the pattern is the pattern is actually for a reversible dress. So it does have a lining. It's two layers of fabric. I'm only using one layer of fabric because you can see on this side, even though it's not totally reversible in terms of color, all the seams are finished. So there's no raw edges. So I am just gonna have this as just one layer of fabric. So now I'm just gonna cut out the front pieces and then sew them together. So here's the dress all finished. And you can see to finish the edges, because it's only one layer and there's no lining, I did put a binding all the way around the edge and I think that really finishes off and it looks really um, cute and adorable. You can see the front is made uh, with flaps, so it's a wrap dress. It's a really easy pattern and it looks really cute and patchwork. So to see more samples of clothing and other items I made with this technique, you can click the link below. And remember, you can also get this pattern from Twig and Tail. So if you've tried this technique, I would love to see what you've made with it. Uh, send me a picture. And for more tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.